in the low 80s. Thank you, Dennis. A wounded U.S. soldier is battling a traumatic brain injury with a non-traditional treatment at a Tampa hospital. But as our Carson Chambers learned, the hyperbaric chamber treatment's not yet available to all American soldiers. 23-year-old U.S. Army specialist Bradley Thomas can blink and is learning to move again. His mom gently tucks in her son with hospital blankets. He was injured January 18th in Iraq. An IED blast uh, hit his striker, the unit that he was with. Just all around, good American boy. The two hours Thomas spends at University Community Hospital in a pressurized hyperbaric chamber are giving his mom hope. Smiling, uh, squeezing a hand. Uh, we're seeing more spontaneous movement. His doctor believes Thomas's brain is healing. Inside the hyperbaric chamber, he gets 18 times the amount of oxygen than normal. It's part of a trial treatment through the James A. Haley VA Hospital that isn't yet available to American wounded soldiers. It increases the amount of oxygen his body receives and increases the amount of oxygen that healing tissue needs. Hyperbaric treatment isn't cheap. The FDA has 14 approved diagnoses of hyperbaric. Uh, unfortunately, traumatic brain injury and post-traumatic stress disorder is not on that list. In Palm Harbor, Dr. Alan Spiegel has been treating wounded veterans for free through a nonprofit he started called Healing Heroes Network and is lobbying lawmakers to make it available to wounded soldiers who need it. Back in Tampa, this mom says the treatment gives her faith. It's just gives us a lot of hope. Not just for her son, but for others who suffer brain injuries that are more and more common in Iraq and Afghanistan. What I hope and pray is that, you know, we will see with this and it's not only going to help Bradley, but others that follow along behind him. Thomas says her ultimate goal is to not have to bring her son to UCH anymore, to get him well enough to where she can take him home to Texas. In Tampa, I'm Carson Chambers, ABC Action News. Crews at a Pennsylvania beer store are cleaning up after some unlikely...